What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be going over 6 things you didn't know about Wolfenstein The New Order. Number 6. After World War II ended, Germany created a series of laws that made it illegal for any non-educational media that referenced the Nazi party to be sold in Germany. Nazis are a primary focus of Wolfenstein The New Order. To sell their game in Germany, Machine Games renamed the Nazis to the regime and changed hundreds of in-game models to reference the regime instead of the Nazi party. This made Wolfenstein The New Order the first Wolfenstein game to be released in Germany. Number 5. In the headquarters of those resisting the Nazis, you can find some artwork for Wolfenstein 3D on a wall above a mattress in the corner on an upper level. Sleeping on the bed will cause Blaskowitz to have a nightmare which lets the player play a remake of the first two levels of Wolfenstein 3D. Number 4. In the seventh chapter of the New Order, you are tasked with getting a concrete sample for Anya. When searching for the concrete, you can find two vault doors that have the number 101 written on them. This is an obvious reference to Fallout 3 in which the main character emerges from Vault 101 at the beginning of the game. Another Fallout easter egg can be found in the first mission of the Old Blood DLC. On a vending machine, you can see a button for a Nuka-Cola, a caffeinated beverage found in the Fallout franchise. Number 3. During the Old Blood's prologue, after you enter Castle Wolfenstein, you can find an iron helmet sitting on some boxes. The helmet is from Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which was published by Bethesda, just like the New Order was. Number 2. During the boss fight with Death's Head, he will shout <laughs> at Blaskowitz, which is a reference to the final encounter with Hitler in Wolfenstein 3D Episode 3. The mech suit Death's Head wears is also very similar to Hitler's from Episode 3. Number 1. The original design for BJ Blaskowitz was a little different than the Blaskowitz we see in the final game. The most notable difference is his red hair. While it matches the model from the original Wolfenstein, Jet Matthews, one of the founders of Machine Games, said in an interview with CNET that Blaskowitz was supposed to be a dirty blonde, but his hair was red due to technical limitations of the era. The current Blaskowitz is much closer to what id Software had envisioned for the character when he was created back in 1992. Alright, that's going to do it for this video about 6 things you didn't know about Wolfenstein The New Order. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter, at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of MittenSquad. Have a wonderful day.